much. My name is Carly Dove. Thank you for joining me. This is the How to Craft Network, and I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, what we've got for you today is some really, really special deals with, of course, our favourite Simon from Avago. Welcome, Simon. Thank you. I'm and it's your birthday! I know, 21 again, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free, if you're on social media, to tag him or, of course, leave a comment for him. We'd be more than happy to share them with him. Remember to subscribe to Housecraft Network. If you don't subscribe, then you can't keep up to date with our fabulous videos. Today is brand day. So, of course, we've got exceptional value, brilliant oodles of amazing products just specially for you. So, of course, you can click the bell. When you click the bell, what that will do is it will just come straight up onto your feed and you'll be able to see everything. Please leave a comment and, of course, enjoy yourself. So, first things first, let's talk about this brand new yeah, you heard it. Brand new. It's not been launched anywhere. This is your Avago Ink Designs Geisha Girls Stamp and Die Bundle. So this is phenomenal. You've got these beautiful stamps of these gorgeous, almost anime, don't you think? You've got the um, your eucalyptus in there and again, your sentiments and also this fabulous die to create those extraordinary scenes. Now, this is 39.99 today. If you're a club member, you'll get an extra 5%. That'll be 37.99. Exceptional value. It really is 100337. And I'll just show you just a handful of exquisite samples that Simon has already created. I love the way you can dress this up or down. Now, I'm looking at the feed. Oh my gosh, Simon, look at all the happy birthday messages you are getting. You are one lucky boy, aren't you? So again, if you want to use it more traditionally, it's stunning, isn't it? Now, Oriental art never goes out of fashion. There's just something quite classy, quite unique, quite regal about this. I think it's an exceptional value. 100337. I mean, look how lush this is. So whether you're stamping, whether you're gonna use these gorgeous girls, stands alone, or whether you're gonna go more traditional. Now, let me show you with this die and a little bit of embossing. Exceptional, isn't that beautiful? It just ties you away to that oriental dream, doesn't it? You've got sentiments included in there as well as these fabulous cranes. I'm loving the cranes. I've never seen them in stamp form. I really haven't with the uh, oriental writing. Beautiful. So you can mix and match perfectly together or you can use them standalone. But the price today is $39.99, exceptional value, like I said before. Now, the next one I'm moving on to is another gorgeous collection of a duo of fabulous stencils that will just accentuate your beautiful geisha collection even more. Now, these are two six by six stencils, fabulous. You've got your fans and your florals. And let me show you a couple of samples that you can mix, oh, we're upside down there, mix and match together. So you can do over stamping, overlaying, create beautiful backgrounds, simply stunning. I love that it could be really clean and fresh, it can be vintage. There's just so much going on with this collection. I'm loving the fans as well. Absolutely beautiful. So this is 100338, a fabulous value, 1199 for those two exquisite, absolutely gorgeous stencils. Right, the next one I'd like to move on is, can you believe how many stencils you are getting here? Four, brilliant value. So I'm just gonna show you quickly, you've got your bubbles, you've got almost like your beautiful, that could be a skyline or that could be waves. I mean, for me, when I came in and we were setting up, I was like, I need this. I need this in my life. Exceptional value. So this one is 100339466x6, beautiful stencils. Housecraft Network price, 19.99 today. Club members with that extra 5% will get 18.99. So remember, if you're not in the club, why not? You're missing out on these fabulous prices. And of course, these will accentuate and make that whole geisha kit go even further. My final, well, nearly penultimate um, item are these gorgeous background stamps. Now, these are A5 in size 
absolutely beautiful gorgeous there's so much you can do with these as well really really stunning now this one i believe let me just check la la da, is the pagoda and lamps no it's not that one sorry i've missed this one off i do believe this is i don't think this is on my sheet this one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move on to the next one which of course is the Himi watercolour palette. Now, you know me, you know how much I love this. This is a moist watercolour palette. Because of that, just use a wet brush, pick up the paint. It's really beautiful, rich and vibrant. If not, don't worry, add water it, dilute it, break it down. It's beautiful. It's got your skin tones in, ready to go. And for me, the price, $13.99 today for the Housecraft Network price. Exceptional value, $13.29 if you are in our club. So Simon, what are you gonna be showing me today? Where do I start? <laughs> so exciting. Thank you for all the birthday wishes as well. I can see all your comments. It's really nice that you've um, took the time to put a message on there. But my first time I've got, I think it's a really nice card, this one. It just shows you how versatile them stamps are. So we're gonna do this one together. It almost looks like it's been hand-drawn in that kind of chinese style, doesn't it? So let's get started with this one. I'll show you how to make it. I'm gonna get my stamping platform first. Lovely, you're using the Eureka. If you haven't seen the Eureka before, where have you been, my friends? This is an exceptional stamping platform. We all use it here because it does what it says on the tin. It's brilliant. Go and have a look on our website and you will be able to invest today. I'm using that big piece of bamboo from that um, Oh, I new love kit. that. I'm going to show you how that. I'm going to extend it down the page. I'm going to stamp it on this side first of all. Okay, um, and what are you stamping with? You can, yeah, you can I'm use gonna, eyes inks. I'm going to be using the Versifying Claire for Love this one. It. This has got a nice yep. smoky grey colour to it. Beautiful. So I'm going to just make sure that's got a good coverage. Give that a good press down. And then I'm just going to pick that stamp back off and drop it back down and try and get a secondary. Oh, lovely. Just to break it up a little bit more. You could get a nice shadow stamp with that as well, couldn't you? It's if you've done lovely. it in the, the black behind and then done the white on top, that would work really well. And even embossing one layer as well oh, would look nice, gorgeous. wouldn't it? And I'm going to flip this round. I'm going to do the bottom side down. Pick that up. And the same again. The dark grey first. Give that a push down. Oh, I love that. Use it upside down. Oh, you're such a clever boy. I is it because your birthday? Is it because it's your it birthday? It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is so clever. You could do corners with the hat as well. Beautiful. And what I love about anything that is oriental is that it's ageless, it's genderless, it's for everybody, isn't it? It just really fits any criteria. Doesn't it? it? Exactly. Birthdays, male, there's no like kind of gender associated No, there isn't. It. So I'm going to pick up my big stamp on this one now. I'm going to bring in the, I've got the eyes ink grenadine, but so I want a really nice kind of sunset colour for this one. Oh, So beautiful. I'm going to very carefully just try and put ink onto the sun bit. Oh, are these on your stalks? Are these cranes, aren't they? Yeah. Cranes, yeah. yeah. cranes, aren't they? But it's funny because with the bamboo as well, it reminds me of years ago when I was younger, my mum actually had bamboo wallpaper flocked in our living room in the early 80s. <laughs> It's a very Chinese oh. restaurant, but I think we all did, didn't we? I bet you couldn't stop like just feeling it. Honestly, it you know how touchy feely I am. I was all over that. <laughs> oh, and then we're going to go in now with the black ink and just get the actual cranes with that. Beautiful. So, try my best not to get any on that sun part. Lovely. So just delicate tapping over the top. And then when we press those Gorgeous. down. We should have got those really nice. So I'm just going to just do a little bit it's more. It's almost like you've taken me there and I'm just getting that feeling of, you know, being outside a beautiful monument or, you know, and somebody's outside doing their beautiful freehand drawing. Stunning. I think it's a good tip as well with this collection. I've used like a textured paper. Yeah. So it just kind of breaks up the image so it looks like it's Perfect, been hand drawn yeah. as well. You so. could use sumi paper. That would be lovely. That would be oh, really nice. nice, which is the Japanese uh, writing paper. That would work exceptional, I think, with this. So that's our backing piece done. So I'm just going to go around the edge now to break it up a little bit using the black ink now. Lovely. So we'll just quickly go around with that. Just 
really brings that bamboo out a bit more. Turn it around that way. And even if you go a little bit smudgy, I think it adds to it on this. It really does if it goes into the cardstock a bit more. That's our base layer made. Beautiful. Well, of course, it gives it that sort of vintage feel, doesn't it? Which is gorgeous. It just looks a bit tatted, doesn't it? I love that. I mean, if I got a bit more time, I could even go around with scissors and make yeah. it a bit more distressed. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, per perfection doesn't always look perfect. Not to me, anyway. No, definitely not. <laughs> I'm just going to remind you again of the order number. It's 10037. Remember, you're getting both sets of A5 stamps, which is absolutely incredible as well as them exceptional dies that you are getting in there. So then you can create beautiful scenes. I mean, this is the one that you're mainly using at the moment, but of course you've got those geishas and the sentiments. Absolutely exquisite. Right, so it's got some of this kind of, I think it's called raffia, isn't it? It's like yeah, kind of I love paper. a bit of raffia. I think it's just really Japanese feeling, so. Lovely. I'm going to secure it on the back of this piece of card. I'm just going to wrap it around really to break up that bottom section a little bit. Beautiful. And then we'll secure that onto the back. Lovely. Yeah, that's the, the perfection of it, is because the back of your card, no one's going to see that bit. You can just tape what you like on there. It's really fabulous. And of course, all your ends and finishes will all be disguised at the end, so no one will know. I love seeing mucky backs because that's oh, a good idea. It is, isn't Because it? the thing is, people don't realise that we want to create all these a gorgeous layers and designs but they don't see all them bits that we do no, it so it's important it to share using your, like red liner tape it saves you the cost everyone's got some masking tape in the collection so it's just a cheap way of doing it isn't of it? course right so i've got my card blank so we're going to get this piece onto here just so it's out of the way i'm just going to quickly mention nola who's online at the moment she had chinese wallpaper in her bedroom <laughs> her parents house and manders had flopped wallpaper tell me about it honestly my mum's house it was brilliant she had like a whole brick wallpaper as well as like the chinese restaurant wallpaper it was gorgeous it's part of growing up i think our kids will be saying the same <laughs> this is the thing well it's making me hungry as well <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't I had noodles yesterday. They were very, very nice. So this is 100337. Your How to Craft Network price today is 39.99. Usual price, £50.97. So that's a really good saving there. Don't uh, forget as well, my friends, if you do join the How to Craft Network club, then you get a further 5% discount, which will bring it down to 37.99. So how are we getting on? So I've just stood that onto my actual card blank. Love so I'm it. I'll put that to one side just for a second. And we're just going to finish it off now by making the sentiments. Oh, lovely. So I've got another piece of that textured card. I'm bringing that in. Gorgeous. I've got that lovely ring design <gasps> from the new... I love that because it's almost like a, a coffee ring, but then it's got that almost, um, just that oriental sort of pattern around, doesn't it? It's almost a little bit greek key into Isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? It's got just... that sort of Greek link. Yeah, I love that. I quite like this as like sort of circles over the top of each other. That oh, would work yeah. really well. Different colours as well, maybe. Yes. Give that a good push down. I'm using the grey, but I want the sentiments to stand out a bit more. Yes. So I can do that in black. Beautiful. That's the grey part done. I'll just take that off. And then I've got a with love sentiment, which is from the kids as well. And this we just... just shows how perfectly everything works with each other. I mean, look at the sentiment size. It fits perfectly within that ring. So you know that it's all going to fit perfect. Now, this is a card that Simon showed me when we was um, getting the samples out. And he's wooed me with it. Look how beautiful that is. All of this design has all been stamped. All of these layers around the edge. And again, we've got a beautiful geisha in there with her fan. It's exceptional, isn't it? It's blown me away. I love it, Simon. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to die cut this out. And because it's circle, I'm sure we've all got a die that's going to oh, fit this image. So I'm just going to pop that over the top just to coat it down so it doesn't ruin my sentiment. I'm Perfect. just going to pop that through now for cutting. So, of course, the two stencils that you can get that will accentuate this collection even further are these ones. 100338, beautiful A5 stencils. You've got that gorgeous fan at the bottom, and then you've got your florals. 
with, I mean, it could be almost 1950s sort of style. It's, you know, this is how adaptable these stencils are. Remember, you can emboss with these stencils, you can put paste through these stencils, and of course, you can ink. So, are you ready to share with us the next step? I am week? now. So, I've cut out my um, sentiment now, so you can see it's got a lovely kind of like um, edging now. We're using oh, that I dye. love that. And it really just ties it back into the card, doesn't it? So that's perfect. It's professional, but... isn't it? This is what's so gorgeous about Avago stamps, is they are professional, they're clean. It's just beautiful. It is as well. And if you're going to make a few cards, you can have these all the different sentiments ready cut, couldn't you, and put it in oh, the container. Of course. Batch so that's card a really make. really good way of doing it. it. And then let somebody choose what they want on the card after. Yep. So I'm going to just put that onto a bit of a foam pad. And then we can get that with a bit of height over that raffia. Oh, look at that. And I've got some of these um, little sequins. These are the Glistening Waves ones. Oh, they're a bit special. They're lovely, aren't they? They're transparent. I love so them. I'm going to put a, a few into this bamboo. Oop, give that a good squeeze. Gorgeous. I mean, really, that is a statement piece of art. I would love that in a frame. I really would. It would work exceptional. And this is how these stamps are so adaptable. Think about home decor. Think about stamping on fabric as well. Beautiful. Just pop those on those bits of glue that we've put on. So you're just using wet glue to apply the sequins. Yep, I always do it Gorgeous. as well with it like bowl shaped so the glue goes through the hole. And Love it. It's a lot neater. Yep. Um, I don't like a messy card, so <laughs> there we go. I'll just sum that up for you. Gorgeous. And that's our first card. Well done. Thank you, birthday boy. That was gorgeous. <laughs> now, we have had so many messages. Thank you so much to everyone that's keeping on top of our craft adventures today. So I'm just going to go through again quickly this fabulous collection. So you're getting gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. The two A5 sets of stamps with your sentiments. You've got your Geisha Girls in there, as well as that beautiful bamboo that you just used in your first demonstration. And of course, the die cuts. Now, I've noticed these as well. Are these leatherette or are these leather that you've stamped on? It's, it's um, not proper leather. Oh, it's like faux I'm not, leather. I'm not sure, but it's faux. <laughs> yeah, it's faux, it's faux leather. Now, this is beautiful. How about creating bookmarks? you know, go straight on with the faux leather. They're so soft on the back as well. I love them. Absolutely beautiful. So the number for this is 10037, exceptional value today, 39.99. Now, what are you gonna be showing us next, my sweet? Well, my next demo is gonna show off those lovely fan stencils that we've got. I think Ooh. it really gives a really creative background. Beautiful. So I've come up with this lovely card as well, and it really makes use of that massive stencil. Oh, I love the ombre of the lemon and the green and blue. It's Gorgeous. So let me just highlight these stencils. These are the Geisha Girl stencils. You've got the umbrella, um, the fan, sorry, and then of course that beautiful floral with the lines. Eleven ninety nine today, my friends. Really, really cool value. One zero zero three three eight two um, six by six. Gorgeous. Absolutely fabulous stencils. So I want to do this one in a few different yes. colours. So I've got the rose and the cassis. So it's like oh, a I love these colours. They blend such a dream, don't they? If you're They're looking lovely. for inks, pop along to our website. We've got oodles of eyes inks, whether they're the dye inks, which are great for moving around, or whether you want to use the embossing inks or the quick dry inks. Fabulous, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to tap the stencil down onto this glass mat so it doesn't slip. Good idea. Or you can use the Eureka, like Helen did earlier with her Glitzcraft stencil. It's really, really easy. You can just place it in. I'm going to start with the lighter colour, so I'm going to go for the rose first. I'm just going to get some colour onto the larger part of the fan, the top bits. Now, do you find to dot or do you find to smudge? What do you prefer to do? I prefer to like dot dab, first, yeah, because dab you dot. get like, a yeah. translucent kind of effect. You do you? get, you get much... a bit too heavy sometimes. I know way. this so well. Yeah. And, and I, you know what I mean? You don't want to break your stencil as well. You want to look after it. Of them. course. So of I prefer course. to just go around and build it up by dab, yeah. getting all that detail. Lovely. So I'm just going to just take the top half of the fan with this lighter pink. Now, remember, you can emboss with these as well. You can also use your spray inks over them, your texture paste, so you can really create something amazing. Remember, every single one of our items, you don't have to do what we do. You can actually really easily adapt and change it to your own style of crafting. And I think when you've got such fabulous projects that you can create using such gorgeous products, so simple. 
So I'm just nearly done that pink all the way down. I'm just going to grab the cassis now and we're going to just put a little bit of darkness onto this top half of the, the bottom half of the front where the handle is. And then I'll just blend that colour up. So lovely i've just um seen a few messages uh susan has said the fan would be great for art deco oh yes well done girl that's a fabulous idea and of course oh you're enjoying the day thank you very much caroline i hope you're having a great day too and of course julie has purchased because she loves oriental oh i'm so glad it's been an amazing day though hasn't it? Hasn't i've got to say I've really enjoyed myself sat out there watching all these other crafters. Oh, it's because we're a family, that's why. It is. It's, but you don't have to get a chance to watch each other, do we? We never don't get they? the chance, <laughs> I know. It's lovely. It's lovely to work together. It's really, really wonderful. I love the way that you're just tapping in that sort of darker pink, sort of almost borderline uh, purple, mixing it together. And I love the fact as well that you're dabbing it on rather than smudging it through. If you did want to smudge it through, I'd go for maybe the textured uh, brush. You know, that has the little dimples on yeah. it because then that will get Get right in all the grooves. We're ready for the big reveal. Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> Let's just lift this up. Oh, look at that. Look how that, just so look how that works. Oh, that is so classy. You can see it's just got that kind of like graduation going through all those um, different fan blades. Beautiful. It's just a really nice way of doing it. And you can choose any colours, can't you? Of course you, you could, and yeah. I mean, like, Make them clash. Yeah, <laughs> it really I love a bit of clash. Nice. It really I love does. a bit of clash, exactly. But it just goes to show how adaptable this whole collection can be. So remember the stencils that we've got here, 100338, 11.99 take home today. That is brilliant value. I also want to quickly highlight the four stencils that we've got on here as well. I'll just tip these forward. You've got your bubbles, you've got your waves, really, really stunning. Six by six stencils, phenomenal value. It really, really is. So with these stencils, today these are 1999 it's 100339 but if there's any products that we haven't got on at the moment go and have a look at our website because we have an exceptional range of inks and stencils so show me what you're up to <laughs> well i've got this lovely corner detail it's really I long love as well that. it's perfect for your like dl cards and your square cards you can really frame what you want to do with this you can even do it in the middle of your card and put a big sentiment across oh, so love. really yeah. perfect for that yeah. So I love that it's got curly ends. I'm Do you know what I mean? I know it sounds a bit crazy, but there's nothing better than when it finishes the card with the curly ends. It's I know. beautiful. Perfect as well to put a gem. Because <gasps> it just screams yes. on it to put something flower, in the middle. Something like that. So you could use it almost like a vine, couldn't you, and build oh, it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The nice um, gold embossed as well, wasn't it? Oh, now we're getting going. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, back to the craft. Yeah, back to the craft. <laughs> this is what happens, is we just start thinking of ideas, of things that you can do, and that's what it's all about. Share your ideas with us. Thank you for everyone that is joining us on uh, social media. I can see that there is so many comments. Thank you so, so much. There's a, Brian said, happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, Ready thank to go. you. Caroline's on there. Roxy Lee is there as well, and Rosie and Tracy. Thank you so much for joining us today. See, that is so classy. It doesn't need a lot, does it? That it black doesn't. really makes it pop. I mean, how perfect would that be for like save a day or something? That would be gorgeous. You know, oh. you could just pop the sentiment in the side for wedding stationery. Oh, yes, please. Oh, some lovely comments coming through, aren't they? Thank you, Tracy. You convinced yourself I didn't need these, but Sammy Dinners are really amazing. You'll not go wrong with these, Tracy. Then it'll all work with the other go collections, the other backing yes. plates and stencils. It'll all pull together lovely. Beautiful. So look at that. We've instantly got a focal point now, aren't it's we? It's so fresh, isn't it? I so love the fact that there's just so much going on and yet it's still contemporary because you've got that background that sets apart because it's quite sort of ombre effect. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to map this onto some black card now just so I can get this ready for assembly. Lovely. Well, just use the black card, especially if you've got black ink within your project. What it does is just really bring it to the foreground and it just makes it pop. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to quickly reference the number of this beautiful kit with these stamps. So it's the Evergo Ink Designs Geisha Girl Stamp and Die Bundle. You're getting the two A5 sets of stamp, which you can see you've got oodles on there. You make me happy. Hello, friend. Enjoy today. 
beautiful coordinating fonts that fit perfectly. And of course, you've got that brilliant die, which is your scene. So now you can build it up and have that gorgeous um, oriental skyline that goes with that. So that's 100337-3999. So show me where you're up to. Right, so I've got a circle now, which is the main element of the centre of this car, so that those kind of corners draw you into that area. I'm going to put her sentiments on there. So I've got the um, birthday blessing ones out of the new set. So that's going to just give us like a kind of Lovely. nice kind of I love the fonts. Area. It really works, doesn't I it? I really do like yeah. that. Really, that's really clever. Stamp. So how do you store your stamps? Do you store them uh, within the packaging that they come in or do you uh, transfer them into folders? I tend to keep them in the packages and then yep. I keep them all in one of these boxes. Perfect. So that I know I can grab a collection and I know yep. it's just going to work. So. Fabulous. But I think we all have his own way of We do. Them, That's why I say. like to find out how other people store, because I think, oh, maybe that might be a good idea. <laughs> so now you're taking different elements from that first collection. These are like the um, cherry blossom, aren't they? I they love are. these. I think they're called Sakura, aren't they? The Sakura blossom. Yeah, they're so yeah. nice. And the thing is as well, like, you, mean you could stack them up because of course they could you stack can. within each other yeah. as well. Well, you could decoupage them really easily, couldn't you? It would be amazing. And they look good with the glossy accents as well. Oh, if you've got that beautiful, at home. yeah. So I'm going to go back in with the two ink colours that we're using. I'm just going to break this cycle up with just using these flowers. So I'm just going to put a bit of both colour onto these. See, that's how easy you can pull the element in of your topper to your background is just by similar using similar color tones really works well just adds to the versatility doesn't it gorgeous there we go let me just move them around one more time so you've got best wishes you've got sending hope you've got the cranes in there as well as those phenomenal beautiful bamboo so you could even add a panda in this couldn't you that would be gorgeous you know me, I'm obsessed with pandas. <laughs> it's because my son is. He loves them. Absolutely loves them. We'll be on to Kratikid next. <laughs> it won't be long. <laughs> we'll just put another few in there. Beautiful. And same again, just tapping both ink pads onto these to give them a little bit of definition. Lovely. And break them up a little bit. It's fine. There you go. It just takes that kind of circle and just adds a little bit more depth. Yeah, to it, of it? course. So I'll just get that mounted onto a black base Lovely. as well. Just to make it pop so it's separate from your background. Really, really simple. Now I'm seeing again, fabulous, gorgeous. Yes, look, see, you may have to bring a cute panda and tiger with you. This is what they're telling me on the feed. I am loving this. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I would like to bring a tiger to work. Do you think they'll let me ride it? Ride a tiger to work, that'd be fun. <laughs> well, I've got a shirt with a tiger on. I've got flamingos today. But oh, I'm I do, loving the flamingo. I do like um, a garish shirt, There's I've got to be honest. There's nothing wrong with a loud shirt. It makes me happy, it makes you happy. <laughs> oh. And it is your birthday, so you can do what you like. Well, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> we move this out of the way, just we've got a little bit more area to work Gorgeous. with. Gorgeous. So let's get this mouse onto us card blank, and then we're going to get a character added to this in a second. Lush. So we'll just get this back piece put on. So remember as well, we have that Himmy Moist Watercolour Palette, 24 colours. You can use it direct as well from ink pa um, from palette if you prefer. You do get a small brush as well on the reverse. I'm just going to grab it so I can show you. Here we go. It's all right, Tim's looking at me like, hmm. Okay, <laughs> so you do get your brush as well on the back. Exceptional, vibrant colours that you can use either straight from the palette or add water to, to dilute and mix your colours together. So that will be 100340 and that is 1329 to club members. But if you're here today for the first time for Housecraft Network, this will be 1399 for you at home. So what are we doing now? Right, so I've put that onto my card blank and I've just bruised this up with some actual um, foam pads just to get a little bit more height in the centre. And we're going to put that straight in there. And then unlike the other card, we actually put the character cut through the circle. Oh, within, yeah. Yeah, and we're actually do a full character on this one. So it just oh, actually lush. adds to it. It gives it a little bit more depth as well. So, Very nice. So I love similar, her face. Different. It's so cute. Oh, it's adorable, isn't it? Their faces. Oh, I love that. I look, do you know what I like as well? That they've not got their eyes open. Yeah. They look really yeah. peaceful. Down exactly. There. So you're going to be using the moist watercolour palettes today. Lovely. I'm loving these, I've got to say. Extraordinary, it really is. You're going to love it. 
So I'm going to try and keep with colours that are in our inks kind of... Perfect. Pinks so the purples. pinks and purples, lovely. And, and what gonna... do you like the most about this paint palette? I've got to be honest, I'm, it's new to me this, but it's yeah. like a glaze. Isn't and it? And I really like the fact that it's translucent. You don't yeah. like cover up your detail in your stamp. Yeah. Normally you can go a bit thick with watercolour, can't you? You and can, and then you lose yeah. the detail. Beautiful. I'm really liking that it adds to it, really. I'm surprised you haven't given the girls names. Feel free to comment today if you like on our feed for maybe names, beautiful oriental names for these ladies. How many are there in the collection? Three. So we need a trilogy of names for them. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what I call them myself. I'm I don't. Like... I don't. I don't know. I have to have a little think. So let's have a look at what we got. Hi, everybody. Oh, look, they're all chatting among themselves. Happy birthday, Simon, from Denise. Oh, Hope you're you. all having a wonderful day and enjoying yourself with our big brand event here at the Housecraft Network. We have been spoiled for choice today, my friends. We really have so much inspiration, so much style, and so many amazing products. I don't envy you at home having to choose what you're going to invest in today. But let me tell you, every single thing that you buy from us is direct dispatched. We create and sell the most incredible stamps and dies, especially for you. So if you quite fancy investing today in this ex Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's enjoy today and your happiness. And then, of course, your Pragoda landscape dies included. 100337 39.99. That's the whole collection, my friends, which is just brilliant. And, of course, the watercolour palette that Simon is using right now is 100340. And that will be $13.99 for the Housecraft Network price. But if you are a club member, remember you get that extra 5%, which always makes me happy. It's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? I love a bit of discount. I mean, how can a club get better than just oh, giving more and more discounts? It's just perfect. It's fabulous, isn't it? And I love the fact as well that we've got loads and loads of tutorials and step-by-steps on the website now. So even if you go to the stamp, have a look down. Um, there may not be ones for the brand new items because they're probably sort of, um, you know, they're going to be on there soon. But if you just have a look at the bottom, then there's a step-by-step, -step, really simple, easy techniques of how to maximise and get the best out of your stamps. So you enjoying painting? I'm just now I'm gonna switch off. I'm I love be it. I'm like, I know. I zone out it's as so well. So relaxing, isn't it? Isn't it? If you've never tried watercolor painting in your stamps, if you've always been a marker girl or a boy, maybe you've not used watercolor. Have a little go. That's what's so exceptional about the moist uh, watercolour Hemi palette is that one, it's all encapsulated itself. You've got your palette at the top for mixing. Fabulous skin tone, isn't it the best? Do you know, that is the best thing it's ever. It's the perfect skin tone. I always use the Okra as well for shading, which is the mustard colour, works really, really well. Beautiful and vibrant. You can overlay them. You do get the brush included with it, which is my favourite number five, which is ready to go. It's fabulous, isn't it? And that price today is $13.29 in the club or $13.99 at Housecraft Network. Right. Let's have a look. I'm excited. So I've, I've left the white in the background, so I want that detail to pop. And it yes. just means you can put that little flecks of red and purples in there just to bring that out a little bit more for you. You can go as detailed as you want to. I love it, I love it. It is beautiful. And Absolutely. I think it'll really tie this card in now. So. Definitely. Well, this is going to be like the icing on the cake, darling. The birthday cake. The birthday cake! Cue the confetti, friends. <laughs> <laughs> we can't make a mess in, a, in Tony's tidy oh, studio. No. She'll just me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a look at some of the comments. It's been an absolutely amazing day, Carly. Hopefully, we can have more days like this, please. Oh, definitely, my friends. Honestly, I've been badgering Tony already because I am loving this. <laughs> I'm just going to finally finish it yep. off. I'm going to put some glossy accents. Oh, I love it. And I can just bring some of these flowers out a little bit more. Just by putting some of that over the top of the design. Beautiful. And you don't have to be so careful with this, can you? You can just push it around once it's yeah. on. I like the crackle one as well. Have you tried the crackle one? I haven't, you know. Place? I might have to um, invest it's in that. It's really lovely. Yeah, it's all available on our website. Go and have a look, my friend. But the crackle, basically, what you do is you leave it to dry. It's just like glossy accent. But as it dries, it cracks. So then you get that beautiful, almost like sort of frozen effect. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So let's have a look at your wonderful card. Oh, my God. 
gosh, that is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And everyone is loving. Oh, look, Cherry Blossom. Love the Blossom. It's right up my street. Beautiful from Shirley. Jackie, absolutely love the day. Even I have to jump off to go to work. Oh, sweetheart. You know, you can catch up with us later on, so don't you worry. So I'm quickly just going to run through these products and show you, again, the exceptional value that we are bringing to you today. So, of course, we've got our Geisha Girl collection, which is the trilogy of the girls. Remember, message me if you do think of names for them. I will share with Simon. Oh, but she's Simon, actually. It's his birthday. He deserves to be told. <laughs> and then, again, you've got all these incredible sentiments, beautiful foliage that you can build up with them stalks, and you've got even got the sunrise in there you've also got that incredible dye to build the most beautiful scenes 100337 39.99 today exceptional value i'm going to show you some more samples as well because there's so many that you've done did you make all these samples most of them i've got a few from the beautiful design team. absolutely gorgeous and again just adding in that little bit of detail i love the fact that they can be so sort of you know build them up really loads of detail or you can go quite contemporary and it just works exceptionally really really does and like we said before ageless genderless is exceptional it really really is i'm going to move on and show you um, a couple of others as well so you can take this home today and create your own beautiful geisha dreams if you like how fabulous would that be again mix and match if you like me you love a bit of arty splats it can work that way it's so true you can you can take it vintage if you want if you want to add lots of gold in there as well just think of the colors that run through which is red golds and blacks absolutely exceptional so what would you like to be showing us next simon well i think it's only right i show you the fabulous dye that oh cuts i'm that loving scenery. this and this is just a really simple card so i didn't think i'd be this fast i'm doing quite well <laughs> <laughs> but i just want to show you like just look how that sun pops through all that detail in the dye. beautiful so. there's nothing better than a silhouette sometimes you really can just take it back to basics do all the artwork that sits behind it perfectly then add that dye to create exceptional beautiful dimension so right. how are we starting right so i've got my card blank because Lovely. quite often we waste card putting card on card don't we of course we? So, this is a dl yeah? yeah so i'm going to use the actual card blank for this lovely which is a nice i love using my card blanks as my base card because sometimes you don't want all the layers especially if you're sending cards because obviously the more layers you put on it the more it's going to cost and that keeps the weight down, doesn't it? Of course. So I'm just going to mask off the top half, then we don't ruin the back of the card. Oh, you're good. Keep, and it'll also hold your actual card stop it'll down as well. It'll do it down. So it's lovely. a two for one, that one, isn't it? No, really? I like that. There's nothing better got, than a tip. <laughs> I've got my two distressed oxides here. So I've got mustard seed and blueprint sketch. And I'm going to start off by using the yellow first of all. Beautiful. I'm just going to just circle out an emotion towards the side. Lovely and just build that richness up in the centre and then fade it outwards. And so are you pushing quite gently and building up the colour rather than sort of smudging it hard into the cardstock? Yeah, it's just softer, isn't it? Lovely. I've just got um, some messages. Robert has said, Gal the Geisha. I'm liking that. Gillian, we could have. Gillian. Gillian the Geisha. Gail, we need another G name. Gertrude? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you for all your suggestions. Brian says, love it, Simon. Super cool card. Beautiful from Elaine. Honestly, Simon, they're in ooh of you. Because oh, you are creating. I'm so glad you guys are liking this collection. I really am. But it's, it's nice to have different elements of the Avago collection course. that everybody can have a go with. So it's for males, females. And I do, truly try and get you a different collection every time. So yeah. glad you like it. I really am. Well, I love that it's ageless as well. It's absolutely brilliant. It's beautiful. It's so usable. Whether you use it all together or use it individually because you've got all them key elements in there with the uh, cranes and then, of course, the backgrounds and, of course, those fabulous patterns mixed in with those incredible sentiments and geishas. So you're using Distress Oxide. All of our oxides are available 
on the website. Go and have a look. Now, we're down to our last five minutes of the show. Can you believe this? Where has my time gone? So coming up next will be um, Pearly Wings with Donna and Simon. Then after that, 5 p.m. GMT time will be Glitzcraft with Helen Kirkham. Then later on today, again, we've got Pearly Wings with Donna and Simon. It has been such a phenomenal day, hasn't it? I've, you know, I've loved it. I've loved meeting all the people. Oh, I really I know. have. It's been a fantastic day. It's so good that you could join as well. Oh, um, hasn't it? It's been brilliant. I mean? It's just amazing. This is what happens. I swear it's like a time uh, warp in this place because I come in here and then my days just go. It's because I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Don't tell the boss, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just bringing that yellow back forward. I've Gorgeous. just knocked them edges down a little bit. Yep. So that will be that layer. You can spend a bit more time on this, but of I'm course. determined to finish this before we finish. You will finish this, yes, of course. <laughs> now, with the Distress Oxide, of course, you can um, use water, you yep. can break it down. You can get that beautiful reactive feel. You can also do the same with the Isink sprays and the Isink dye inks. They work exceptionally the same. I'm just going to let that water sit on top of that so we can get some kind of lifting going on. Lovely. I'm trying to get tinier little blobs rather Tiny than bigger blobs. ones. But, do you know what I mean? It's water, you can't always control it. <laughs> no. So just let that lift a second. And then I always put a piece of kitchen towel on top of just it. Just to mop it up, yeah. Yeah, so I'll give it a second. I think that should be enough. Lovely. I prefer down. personally a fan brush because I find that I get much more, um, yeah. it's quicker. Also, um, I don't tap on my finger, I use another brush to tap it. Because I find that as well, you get a better bounce off it, if you know what I mean. But these are just little tips that we yeah, found. I mean, as I must say, so, at home, I tend to use a toothbrush. There we go. You, can, you get the really good yeah, flick on it. I, I don't know really exactly where you're coming from. Here, it feels wrong. <laughs> it feels so. wrong. <laughs> so. On your birthday. <laughs> so I'm just going to run this die through now. Gorgeous. So we'll just pop that towards the top of this black piece of card. Now, I'm just thinking as well, because it is an actual, it hasn't got a bottom to the die, mm -hmm. you can use that as a bookmark. You could have, like, a waterfall card. You could have gorgeous layers with that as well. Now, remember, this is the whole collection that you're investing in. You're going to get the two sets of exceptional, beautiful oriental stamps. And then, of course, that gorgeous die that Simon's working with now. That's 100337 39.99, my friends. Go and have a look on the website. We've got the gorgeous inks and of course that Himi moist watercolour palette. So how are you doing, sweet pea? All right, how are we going for time? Are we doing now? Yeah, we're doing good. Four minutes, okay. Oh, we've got we've got, got, we've got time. We've got time, then. it's all right. Yeah. This card is gonna get a lot smaller. <laughs> <laughs> So I've cut it out once. Yes. Because of these dies are not cut at the end. I can extend the actual length. Oh my gosh. So, so it's a continuation die. So then it becomes a border. That's oh, I'm loving so this. So let's get this put through. Make this a bit longer, but you're not restricting your card size that you're using. Perfect. You could also, if it, because any sort of border, you can easily wrap them around cakes, cupcakes, things like this as well. So great for Chinese New Year. Fabulous. And the negative makes a great sense of <gasps> Love that, of course. Remember the negative when you cut that out, then you've got your stencil, then you can always use that behind the die. So it's almost like a highlight behind it. It works exceptional. I can't believe the price of this whole kit. So not only are you getting the two A5 stamps, you're also getting this gorgeous die that is just beautiful to build up. I mean, I think this sample is one of my ultimate favorites with the gold. It's stunning, isn't it? I am loving that. Absolutely beautiful. You've got that line on there, which is so easy to use. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so where are you now, my sweet? Right, so this background, although it's very impressive, look how good this makes it. So I'm just going to put this silhouette <gasps> straight on top of that. Oh, I look love how amazing it. that is. That is so dramatic. There's no skill for that, really. Anybody could achieve that. No, Simon, it's your birthday. Take right. the skill. Take All the right, skill. The skill today. <laughs> But maybe not in the future. <laughs> so let's get a bit of glue onto this. Obviously, um, spend a bit more time making sure this is secure. Yeah. But I just want to make sure we get this all finished. Beautiful. And we're going to put that down. Oh, I love it. Just look at how easy that is. And then I've got my scissors here, which I'm just going to trim off the excess card. Yeah. And you always cut from the reverse because then you don't get that overlap because otherwise you always cut with into your cardstock. So you always cut it on the reverse. I also find as well, if you glued it, you can hold it a bit better. Yes, it definitely, because otherwise way. it's a bit squidgy. <laughs> That's how an A6 card goes to an A5, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's just <laughs> trimmed down all the time. 
So that's our little card. And Gorgeous. we'll just quickly bring up the platform and we'll get a sentiment on this and it'll be finished. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will go back to Simon in just a second with that incredible finish card. Thank you to everybody that has joined us online. Birthday magic, Caroline says. See? You've got them twinkly fingertips ready to go. Remember, this whole collection is exceptional. 10037, 39.99 just for you, my friends, today. But remember as well, if you are in the club, join our club, 37.99. Now look how beautiful the three cards, how diverse and how different they can be really really beautiful so there's so much you can do with this collection it's exceptional isn't it i'm loving it have you had a lovely day I have a, it's an amazing birthday what better way to <laughs> we're gonna have a little bit family. of a party now in the warehouse we won't tell the boss absolutely brilliant remember we've got glitzcraft coming up and of course donna and simon from pearly wings absolutely brilliant thank you so much for joining us today i hope you're having a great day remember to stick around because we're on till later as well thanks again simon for amazing demos absolutely beautiful take care of yourself and each other my friends and i will see you next time bye